going to print the gripper claw. Uh, this time we're going to use the Lulzbot uh, printers and therefore we're going to use Cura. And I'm going to take you through some of that right now. So first thing we're going to do is you're going to press Cura. Now if I've installed the software on your computer, we've tried to put it down here on the address bar. You may have a folder up here that says software where you open it, but it should be down here. And this is the, this is the uh, icon right here. The version that you use might be a little bit different than the one that I'm showing you right here, okay? But it's going to work exactly the same way, and it's pretty much the exact same piece of software, all right? So Cura basically takes an STL file, and that's what we were looking at when we downloaded the gripper claw, and it takes it and converts it into slices that the printer can go and print out, all right? No big deal there. So first thing we do is we're going to press on load model and we go here, classic robot, uh, gripper, blah, 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 blah. And we click on files and complete gripper. All right. And uh, there's our file right there. You know, you can spin it around and check it out. Um, I like this feature actually where you can rotate when you're opening files, just because if you have two, two STL files, where the um, they appear very similar, you can just verify that you've got the that you're printing the right one. Anyways, this is the right one, so we click open, and bang, we have the gripper pop up. All right, so um, basically, Cura is smart enough to recognize the fact that it lays the um, the parts out flat. All right, um, sometimes when you're going and printing stuff out, I'm just going to rotate this for a moment. Give me a moment. Okay, sometimes when you load something into Cura, it um, puts it on the edge. All right, and um, it's not a bug in the program. It just doesn't recognize the preferred orientation. Obviously, the printer cannot print this like this because a whole bunch of these parts are like floating in midair. And printers are good, but they're not that good. So what you would need to do, just in case your printer does put it on the side, is click on the STL file, that's the whole thing together. We'll go to rotate, and with the arrow keys, you can actually rotate the platform around until you see it flat, and then using the rotate right here, we would take this and put it at 90 degrees, that's perpendicular to its other orientation, and let go, and it basically just plops right down, all right? If for some reason um, it's telling you that it can only rotate 89 degrees or you only rotate it by 75 degrees, degrees by mistake or something, you can actually click on the file and go over here to lay flat and it'll actually lay the, the thing that you're printing out flat. No big deal there. Okay, just like so. And um, basically we've got everything we need. So that's our overhead view and there's really not much else to do here. So all I'm going to do now is the important stuff. A normal quality print is uh, more than good enough. We've got fast, normal, and high. Um, high quality prints, I find um, it just prints more slowly. So if you have really, really fragile stuff or it's really, really tall and may be in danger of coming away from the base of the printer, it's usually good to choose a high quality print. But for this, we don't have to, don't worry. And um, these are the different types of plastics. That's high impact polystyrene. Um, ABS, this is the same stuff that uh, Lego bricks are made out of. And PLA, this is what the Tinkerine printers print with. We are going to click on ABS because that's what I use personally and that's what I brought with the printer. And all you do now is hook up the printer and uh, you're ready to print, okay? Now, once you get to this point, all right, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to say pause what you're doing and come find me and I will show you how to use the printer. So we're pretty much done here and we'll move on to the next step.